Hello everybody. I haven't posted a video in a while and I thought, why not? Play Sequence. So Sequence is not a new game, but it's one that anybody can love. It's a really good game and I think you guys should try it. So I'm going to be playing it on medium. So, and by the way, I'm going to be using an Xbox 360 controller. You can play it without one. So it's not required. But it does help. With any game. So I hope you guys enjoy it. It is a very different game. <laughs> very interesting. When I first played this, I never knew any other game that was like this one. God, my head. What the hell just... My wallet. Someone stole my damn wallet. Great. I'm penniless and stuck in some gothic funhouse. Unless this is a dream. Nope. My brain feels like it was stabbed by a hobo. It's gotta be real. But how did I get here? I remember I was in my apartment getting ready for bed. You're talking to yourself. Really? Who's there? Me. Where are... Up here. Intercom. My name's Naya. That's a weird name. I get that a lot. Did you steal my wallet? Yeah, I stole <laughs> your wallet for drug money and then decided to... Classical comedy, right? Intercom. Wait, hold on. I have to do this bump of cocaine. Can't uh -huh. forget that cocaine. Well, do you know who took it? Nope. I've only been watching for a few minutes. You can see me? Unfortunately, yes. You should really work on your look. It's a little dated. I don't need to... Look, I just woke up and I can't remember how I got here. I think I may have been drugged, or... You weren't drugged. Then what the hell happened? I... I'm not at liberty to say. And why not? I'm not at liberty to say that, either. Look, I've been assigned to guide you through the tower, which will try its very darndest to kill you at every turn. Darndest? Darndest? Wow. Shut up. This place is a little creepy, I'll admit, but I think I can manage. Go date rape and piss off someone else. I'm... Wow, he's mad. Monster! No, what, what the hell? Damn it, you arrogant jerk. I'm trying to help you. Good, go! Help! Get this thing the hell away from me! Hey, is it... Oh, okay. It's this one. Got it. What? What was that? A saving grace hotshot. I can't do those often, so I suggest you calm down and listen up. Okay, I... Okay. I'm gonna break down basic training into several lessons. You can repeat a lesson if you want, or even skip them. Though, I wouldn't recommend it. I'm only doing this once. Okay, so I've played this game before. But it's been a while. And just for the viewer's sake, I'm gonna go through... Uh, each lesson. So starting with the lesson one. What the hell is this? And am, am I on crystal meth? You wish you were on crystal meth. This is how you'll be fighting off your adversaries. Your health is represented by your HP, down on the left in green. If it reaches zero, bang, game over. Like any other game. Game over? It's a metaphor. For death. Your opponent's health is on the right in red. Knock it down to zero, and you've won. Just like any other game. Now, you'll notice there's music playing in the background. The gems come down from the top of the screen in one of four directions. You can clear a gem when it reaches the gray stationary arrow. The gems are aligned with the beat of the music. Try to clear the gems by listening to the music, and not by trying to watch their exact positions. 
Oh, and you can either use the D-pad or the face buttons to clear gems. Sometimes on, you'll need to use both. Yeah, on the PC, it would just be arrow keys and WASD. If you were using keyboard, at least. Let's try it out. A gem's going to come down. So, it's pretty basic. And right here, you'll hit the corresponding direction. Pretty straightforward. Uh, sure. Let's try it out. Go ahead and clear this stuff. So, then you just press up button when it hits there. Pretty simple. Brilliantly done. I would give you a gold star, but you're beyond gold stars. Occasionally, two gems will come down at once. Try using the D-pad and the face buttons at the same time for these. Alright, let's try a double. Pretty straightforward most of the time. Boot. So, I did it? You did indeed. Let's move on to lesson. Lesson 2, fielding questions. Alright, lesson 2. Will you be as condescending and rude in the... Yes. So, you can see three boxes. We call these fields. Each one will contain a separate stream of gems, and each has a specific box. Can I hit all three at once? Nope. Nope. In order to switch between them, you'll need to use the left and right triggers on your controller. Go ahead and give it a try. Move between the fields a bit. Defensive field, mono field, and spell field. Yep, just like that. So, what does each field do? Let's break it down. This one in red is the defensive field. I'm going to disable your ability to clear gems. Let's see what happens. Oh, that sucks. I want to clear gems. You lose HP. Every gem you fail to clear in the defensive field will damage you by a certain amount. There are also glowing gems which do more damage. They look like this. I don't know what the damage are that for each one color. Has blue glow, which does two times damage. There are other types as well. Worse than red, a that's all I really know. Damage. Yellow does five times damage. And red does about empty ten times damage. I'm probably gonna wanna watch out for the yellow and red. Okay. What are the other two fields? Go ahead, switch to the green one. Spell field is where you cast field. attacks. This is where you'll spells. Be casting various spells to do damage to the opponent, heal yourself, etc. Uh for now, don't worry about it. We'll Alright. In the last field. Go ahead and switch over. Mana field. This is the mana field. Here, each gem you clear will yield a sparkling one mana point regain. Mana? You'll expend mana when casting spells, and this is the only way to regain that mana in battle. And it's pronounced mana. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how many people get that wrong. Anyway, there's no penalty for failing to clear gems in this field. If you see a deluge of gems bearing down, don't worry. Just switch here when you need the mana. Alright, okay. got it. And the last one will teach you how to do the spells. As you decree, it's lesson three. We have two, barrier and arc light. Go ahead and switch to the spell field for me. Great. So, there are a wonderful variety of spells. You've only got two to start off, but you'll eventually learn more. Your spells are located at the bottom of the screen. See that crazy circle thing? We call that the spell ring. Use the right analog stick to select, and then hit either one of the shoulder bumpers to activate the spell. And that costs mana, right? Right. The specific amount is shown inside the spell ring. If you don't have enough, you can't activate the spell. If the black ones, the mana cost, the blue ones, how much mana you have? I thought we were casting spells. Well, right. To actually cast the spell, you'll need to successfully hit all the gems inserted into the spell field. And what happens if I miss one? And the spell fails. Well, nothing. You'll fail the spell and you'll have wasted whatever mana you spent. Not rad. Totally not rad. Alright, go ahead and cast Arclight, the orange spell on the right of the spell ring. It's a standard direct damage spell. You'll need to move the cursor to the right side of the spell ring. Use the right analog stick to move the cursor around. Remember, use either shoulder bumper to activate the spell. Like I said, mostly straightforward. Two spells, arc light, and barrier. Excellent. You can see that your mana decreased by the cost of the spell. Now clear the gems. Then you just do the pattern, hey, and right. does the damage. Be able to recast the black gate on the spell ring recently. Guys, 
your other spouse, so we're not going to cast it here, is very nice. It has the effect of reducing the number of incoming gems in the defensive field for a short period of time. Reducing the number of incoming gems. Okay. So I'll take less damage? Right. If you're getting slaughtered while trying to attack, try keeping up an active barrier spell. Okay. Strategy. Okay, that's the end of the tutorial. Well, that's about it for the basics of combat. So we're done? Nuh-uh. What's yeah. the class without a final exam? Uh, Time to actually one? do an actual battle. One, stop whining, shut your face. We're gonna it's a pretty big scale. Battle, and you're not moving on until you win. Yay! <laughs> Fine. Alright, remember what you learned. Good luck. This should be easy. Since I've actually played this game before. But, you know, still have to actually rem start remembering things. So yeah, don't want to take damage from that. Then it's more mana. Okay, yeah, this is straightforward. Wait. <laughs> okay, so let's do arc light. And then we'll finish the rest of the tutorial. Which explains a bit more stuff. And after each battle, we gain experience and a percent chance for items. So let's see what we got. No items, just a bit of experience. Failed all three percentages. Failed at 95, that's hard to fail. Okay, I think I've got it. Kind of. Well, you're the one who said you were ready to move on. Don't blame me if you end up splattered on the wall. Don't worry. It's hard to blame people when you're dead. Oh, you. Just tell me where I am. We call it the Tower. I can tell you that this place was designed to test certain individuals. Very few are brought in, and very few survive. But why me? What's the point? Who knows? I'm just your guide. Your shepherd. I do what the big boys say. But trust me when I say I'm on your side. Guess I don't have much of a choice. Nope. What now? Well, new best buddy, think I need a name. It's... this guy. Ooh, that's a weird name. You're really annoying, you know. Sorry, sorry. Alright, this is how it works. There are seven levels of the tower, and you're on floor the first. Get through all seven levels, and you'll be set free. Just like that. Poof, just like that. To advance to the next level, you'll need a key. You can make one a bit later. Um, okay. So I know you're eager to charge into battle. I don't... There's another one of those tentacly things nearby. Naya, I... <sighs> oh, yay. Oh, snap, there it is. Get it. It's not even a... Wow. You can see that? That looks like he has a lot of tentacles. Yep. Simple as always. Had to miss that one note to get finished that spell. It's pretty simple enough. You just get the hang of it. Let's just get mana while well, it's like the spell's recharging. Barrier just wore off. And yeah. Really easy. And it gets a lot harder with faster songs later on. Let's see what we can obtain. Uh, obsidian. Awesome. Congratulations! You're not dead. That? That was easy. Sure it was. What's this stone it dropped? Oh, come on. It's obsidian. Didn't you study geology? Nope. I'm woefully ignorant. I was just surprised a creepy tentacle monster was carrying around an extrusive igneous volcanic byproduct. Ooh. I'm impressed. Wow. Hmm. Well, obsidian is a fairly standard ingredient. You'll need to fight stronger enemies for the rarer components. I 
if things get rough, you can just do that flashy thing again, right? I can't actually see what's going on in your battles. If you're confident enough to fight, I have to trust that you can finish. Besides, I think I only have two more of those saving graces, so I'd rather not use them against the weakest damn thing in the tower. True that. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and get you to the safe room. It's right down the hallway. No, oh, not that. There we go. It's through that big, cozy-looking doorway over there. See it? The one with the blood stains. Yeah. Right. See? Nothing to be afraid of. I guess. What's all this stuff here? In the safe room, you've got access to your items, your equipment, your spells, the whole deal. It's your home base, so to speak. I won't be attacked here? Save for my verbal lashings? Correct. We're gonna run through all the systems at your disposal in here. Here are a few more ingredients. Spell slot three. That allows us to have another spell equipped. Butter knife. Armor. And more obsidian. And a whole bunch of recipes as well. Crew we can craft basically using the recipe for key the first. Fallout scroll. Dust till dawn, and battle axe, and a black potion, and when you're ready, home. go ahead and pull up the gear screen. Okay, let's do that. Whoa, this looks complicated. This is the item screen, where you'll manage your items, equipment, and synthesis. On the left, we can see your statistics. You're at level one, but you'll rise quickly. Your other relevant statistics are shown as well. My offense is five. Why five? This is so arbitrary. Eh, you look like a five. The middle of the screen shows your inventory. The first pane displays your recipes, which are used for synthesis. Which is? We'll get to synthesis in a bit. Go ahead and use the right trigger to switch to the weapon pane. Here we have your available weapons. Go ahead and equip the butter knife I gave you earlier. Might as well increase no. the offense. Just highlight the knife and hit A twice. You'll equip the item, and you'll see a corresponding increase in your offensive rating. Great. Go to the armor pane and equip the bronze armor for a defensive bonus. Okay. Similarly, you'll eventually obtain accessories to equip as well. Switch over to the other pane. Here you'll find items that you can use to increase your abilities, and so, key yeah. items we don't that have permanently to equip bestow some sort of bonus. I gave you the key item spell slot 3, which allows you to use a third spell during battle. Oh, good. Casting Arc Light was getting boring. Kind of was. We'll equip a new spell in a bit. Next pane, please. One type of item you can synthesize are scrolls, which appear here. If you have one, you can pay a certain amount of experience points to either practice or learn the spell. Wait, awesome. what? How does paying experience points make any sense? Yeah, it's a very different type of game. You don't have any gold or anything, but you pay experience points. You can actually like level down. Uh, then, like unlike other games, you actually can. It's kind of weird, but it works. Oh come on! Does it make any less sense than one single quantitative value accurately representing the whole of your fighting abilities and knowledge? Good point. Anyway, when you learn a spell, you'll need to accomplish some goal, like obtaining a certain efficiency percentage or chaining together a long combo. Each spell will have specific requirements. I guess I'll worry about it when I've got a scroll. Alright, last pane. Switch on over. This is the raw materials pane, which will display your materials for synthesis. Pretty simple. Go ahead and switch back to the recipes pane. If you have the necessary ingredients, a recipe will be listed in white. From there, just hit A twice to begin synthesis. Go ahead and try synthing a black potion whenever you're ready. Yep, it's a cost three obsidian, which we actually got. One for the monster, and she gave us two. Here you can control the odds of a successful synthesis. The better the odds, the more XP the synth will run you. I won't always succeed. This isn't a second grade soccer league. You'll fail, and it'll suck when you do. You won't lose the items, but you'll lose the experience. Of course, the better the item is, the harder it'll be to sin. Also, you max out at a 95% chance of success. No freebies. Lame. Go ahead and synth this one out. 
I'll make sure it succeeds just this once. So we basically choose how much percent it is to succeed, and it'll basically be how much experience it cost. Now she's gonna make sure this one succeeds, so just to pay the least amount, we just go all the way down to point one. And still passed. Congratulations, you've sent the black potion. Go over to the other pane and swig it down. It'll permanently increase your HP by two. Cool. Yes, very cool. One last thing. In addition to synthing, you can desynth materials, weapons, armor, and accessories. Just hit X to decompose an item into some extra experience points. Which is useful whenever you like get a new get a new weapon and then you want to like descent the butter knife for extra experience. So it's kind of like selling the equipment. Sort sort of. All right, that's it for the gear screen. When you're done, go ahead and exit back out to the safe room by hitting the back button. All right, now I'm going to show you how to set which spells you can use during battle. It won't take long, and then we'll finally be done with all this tutorial stuff. Thank God. Go ahead and select Spell Set from the menu. <laughs> this is the very last tutorial, Pinky Swear. Oh, well, you must be telling the truth, then. Pinky Swears are serious. <laughs> so what is this? There isn't really much to this screen. In the top left, you can see all available spells you've learned so far. Got it. You can test out any spell in this list by casting it with the left or right bumpers. Make sure you've got the rhythm to consistently cast a spell before inserting it into the ring. And how exactly might one do such a thing? Simply select the spell, hit A twice, and then assign it to a position on the ring. Easy. Let me guess. You want me to assign a third spell to that empty slot? Oh, my baby's almost ready to leave the nest. So, yeah. We got two other spells, which are Spheric, which is kind of like Arc Light. It doesn't do as much damage, but it's also an easier spell and it costs less mana. And it's our Wind, which is a, minor, a mild healing spell. So we're probably going to use this one. That's pretty much it. By the way, you have access to a healing spell now. It'll help out see. against more difficult enemies. I'll keep that in mind. Good. And we're done? We're done. Okay, so I'll keep, I'll keep these three. So head out onto the floor to collect the necessary ingredients for Key the First. Just tell me which enemies you'd like to battle. Got it. And Key the First kind of locked the next floor. So, it's really nice. So, that's all the time we have for today. If you enjoyed, a rating will be much appreciated. And stay tuned in for the second part. See you later, guys.